Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Obelisk and their recent ASIC miner for Grin. And they have cancelled the Grin 1 project, which they had three different ASIC miners for. So let me go show you guys real quick which ones they had. Uh, they had the Grin 1 Mini, okay, for about $2,000. The Grin 1, which was about $10,000, and the Grin 1 Immersion, okay, which is $20,000. So they have a medium, medium article here with the announcement uh, on July 19th, and they said, Due to lack of interest in funding, Opalisk has had to cancel the Grin 1 project. All those who purchased all who purchased the Grin 1 directly from Opalisk will be receiving a full refund for their purchase. Refunds will be provided in the form of BTC equal to the USD value of the amount paid at the time of purchase. Okay, so I have an issue with that in this sentence right here. As I'll say again, refunds will be provided in the form of BTC, which is Bitcoin, equal to the USD value of the amount paid at the time of purchase. Okay, so for example... I believe they had their pre-orders during March or maybe from between February and between February and March. And as you can see here, Bitcoin was around three thousand, four thousand dollars. So imagine you bought, you pre-ordered one of these uh, Grin ones for ten thousand dollars. Okay, they put in their 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 Bitcoin. How much? So if it's ten thousand dollars USD at the price at the time of pre-order, then let's say. Uh, which which Bitcoin was about um, three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars, right? So you'd you'd have to put one uh, about two and a two and a bit, two and a half Bitcoin into the into the pre-order. So I'm not sure if that was a hundred percent pre-order or maybe like a twenty percent pre-order for their ASIC miners. I'm not sure, uh, but if those people who put you know full Bitcoin into the into the pre-order at that time and now they're getting paid their USD value. Uh, back then for the pre-order they're technically getting less Bitcoin okay so that sucks you know your 2.5 Bitcoin is now worth like what uh, one Bitcoin <laughs> uh, so you're, you're getting technically less rewards but uh, technically still the same USD value uh, if you were to sell at that time uh, so that sucks for those people who paid in Bitcoin but if you paid in credit card uh, if credit was used, the credit will be added uh, will be added to the amount refunded. And if you use a coupon, the coupons uh, will also be returned as coupons. So they explained here a lot, a lot of different stuff, fundamentals, grin, all that kind of stuff. Just basically, a lot of people weren't interested enough, uh, and Obelisk wasn't able to get the funding to create these uh, three different ASIC miners uh, that they had. So. I know that Obelisk has been in a lot of drama and a lot of stuff before with their Sia coin miners and Sia coin, all that kind of stuff. So I don't doubt that because since they didn't have any funding or not enough funding, that Obelisk just wasn't able to pay for it because they're really not a big ASIC company uh, compared to compared to other ASIC companies like Bitmain or Inna Silicon. So uh, actually. Now to to keep going on with this video, what I want to talk about is the ASICminervalue.com. Uh, so maybe some of you ASIC miner guys follow this website, and I'm just on webarchive.org, and I'm just back at July 13th, so about a week or two ago, and you can see here on the web archive that the Grin One Immersion and Grin One and Grin One Mini was at the top of the profitability chart for ASICminervalue.com. And you can see here the Grin Grin One Immersion. You'd make, you'd be making eight hundred and eighty eight dollars a day. Uh, the Obelisk Grin One was at four hundred and forty four dollars, and the Grin One Mini was at seventy three dollars a day, at four hundred watts, which is quite insane. But you go to their website right now, ASICMinerValue.com, and you can see here that it's gone. They're gone. The Grin the the Obelisk Grin Miners uh, are gone from this website. And now you can see here, in a silicon, grin miners are are still here. So, 
Uh, now, that's, I'm going to shift towards Inner Silicon now, because uh, now that we know that Grin 1, the Obelisk, has cancelled their ASICs, I wonder if um, Inner Silicon is going to cancel their ASICs. So as you guys can see here, their profitability for the moment, uh, they have three different miners. It looks like the G32 Mini, the G32 500, and the G32-1800. And you can see the profitability profitability here, $317 a day, $96 a day, and $20 a day for the InnoSilicon models. So you can see here, InnoSilicon G32 Grin Miner, uh, they actually have a couple different versions here, uh, I guess with different power supplies, but yeah, mainly the three different versions. And it looks like you can pre-order uh, the InnoSilicon G32 Grin Miners. I... <laughs> I, I really hope that nobody really pre-orders this because, uh, I mean, I'm a GPU miner at heart, right? You guys all know I'm a GPU miner. And I what I just don't want for people to do and happen to them is just what happened, just exactly what happened with uh, Obelisk's, Obelisk's pre-order and Grin Miner. You can see here, they canceled and the people who put in BTC amount at the time when Bitcoin was around $3,000, $4,000, and now they're getting their USD value in Bitcoin back, uh, which Bitcoin's much higher, but you're getting your less Bitcoin back, less B Bitcoin rewards. So that really sucks. And I mean, in a silicon, they are a much bigger ASIC manufacturer. They have tons of other ASIC miners uh, on the market. So I think these guys are a little bit more well established. And I don't foresee, I don't know, I'm not sure if um, in a silicon would cancel the Grin Miners. Uh, maybe since Obelisk had had to cancel, uh, maybe it's the interest The interest in the Grin ASICs was not that high. So it could be that InnoSilicon could pre uh, dis, just, you know, discontinue these Grin Miners. Um, they still said uh, the October 2019 is the release date for these, uh, these ASIC Grin Miners, as you guys can see here, October 2019. So it's still quite a ways away, you know, a couple months, four or five months ahead, away from now. And who knows, they could cancel. And, huh, it's just interesting to look at, guys. Interesting to look at, uh, you know, I could see that there is not a lot of uh, interest in these Grin Asics. Okay, um, next part, guys, uh, just giving you my thoughts now about Grin. Uh, you guys know, uh, maybe, possibly, for those who follow Grin, I don't really follow Grin that much. I don't mind Grin. I have my opinions about Grin, which is pretty uh, centralized at the moment. Uh, but they, of course, have announced. You know, they, they have good uh, fundamentals. You know, Mimblewimble, privacy, all that kind of stuff. And uh, they had a hard fork recently on July 17th, uh, just a couple days ago. And um, now uh, they implemented a new proof of work, a uh, new secondary proof of work algorithm. So now it's called um, Kakarood 29. I believe it used to be Kakaroo 29, so it's now Kakarood 29. And uh, to keep that uh, algorithm, the C29 um, ASIC resistant, I guess, or FPGA resistant. So they just they just wanted to have GPUs mine this algorithm. And uh, what I wanted to point out was that with Grin, um, according to miningpoolstats.stream, I use this site a lot. If we look at the Grin C29, okay, so this is the one for uh, GPU mining mainly, you can see that F2 Pool, which is a Chinese based mining mining pool, okay, and sparkpool.com and GrinMint and all these other pools that are, these are all like top Chinese, uh, Chinese servers, okay, and uh, I, I, I'm not racist or anything, but it's, it's just, uh, you know, I'm half Chinese myself, but <laughs> these, look at this, look at this centralization, pretty much all the hash rate of Grin C29 right now is on, uh, in China, and it's, it's just, I've, I've, I've explained this before, and I've looked at, uh, Grin's Twitter and their social media, they've all, they all have, uh, uh, bot, like, bot, bots, and, uh, bot Twitter accounts and all that kind of stuff, like, they have, insane amount of Twitter followers, but their Twitter like to dislike ratio and uh, retweet ratio is like 1% out of all the, uh, like less than 1% than all of the followers they have on Twitter. It's just nuts. I, I just don't trust, I don't trust Grin uh, as a coin and as a project and uh, just a few other things as well. 
Uh, you, there, you can see their other algorithm, their C2031, which is more uh, ASIC friendly, okay, algorithm. You can see sparkpool.com, which is a Chinese pool, f2pool.com, which, which is also a Chinese pool, and pool.ptc.com, which also has a Chinese uh, server pool, and I believe grinmint.com is also a Chinese pool. I'm just going to assume, uh, let me just see here if it is. Uh, no, it looks like it is a East Coast, US to East Coast uh, server. Okay, so GrinMint is an American based uh, server for Grin. But uh, for, for C31, you can see here, it's it's really, it's, it's dominated by Chinese. Probably like 80 or 90% of the hash rate is in China right now for Grin. For C31 and C39, about, I'm going to say 80% as well. 80 to 90% of the hash rate is in China. So with all with all of the grin with all of the grin um, coins and stuff being in China, which I know it, it maybe it's because of the uh, Mimblewimble, it's a privacy coin. Uh, we don't know how we don't we don't have like the rich list for grin, so we don't know how many um, we don't know how many uh, grin coins are out uh, on each address, so we can't really see how many uh, grin is on each address. So it's because it's a privacy. Uh, privacy feature on Grin. So, uh, centralized. In terms of hash rate, it is centralized, and I, I just don't really believe in Grin. But I know a lot of people mine Grin uh, into Bitcoin, okay, because it's one of the top profitable coins on, on let's say, a 6x1660 Ti, okay. And it looks like, yeah, the new Grin C29, Kakaroo 29 is about $3.21 a day, uh, 10 cents a kilowatt hour on the 61660s uh, Ti's. So, Anyways, guys, I talked about a lot of stuff, but it, all, it was all about Grin and ASIC miners and uh, profitability and uh, the centralization of the hash rate. So a lot of different news here, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Um, it sucks, obviously, for Obelisk, uh, but I have no affiliation or anything with them. So, I mean, for us miners, of course, I mean, this is a win for us miners that... Uh, uh, that Oh, okay, I just saw here. Sale is open now through May 3rd. So it is... It is available, it looks like. Not too sure. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the Obelisk Grin Miner being cancelled. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Smash the like button. All that good stuff, guys. I appreciate all of you. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.